How is molasses made? Hello, sweet tooth viewers out there. Today, we'll delve into the sticky world of molasses. Ever wondered how molasses is made? If yes, then you're in for a treat. By the end of this video, you'll know the journey of this thick, brown syrup from sugarcane fields to your pantry. What is molasses? Molasses is a viscous product resulting from refining sugarcane or sugar beets into sugar. It's cherished for its rich, sweet, and slightly bitter flavor which makes it a staple in a variety of dishes, especially in baking and in sauces. How is sugarcane harvested? The process begins with the harvesting of sugarcane, a tall perennial grass that's native to the tropical regions of South Asia. Workers chop the cane stalks close to the ground using sharp, machete-like tools. The leaves are stripped, and the canes are cut into manageable lengths for transport to a processing facility. How is sugarcane processed? At the processing facility, the sugarcane is crushed using large rollers in a sugar mill. This process extracts a juice, which is then boiled to concentrate it. This boiling process also allows the impurities to float to the surface where they can be skimmed off. Crystallization and Extraction of Sugar The next step is crystallization. The syrupy liquid is allowed to cool, forming sugar crystals. These crystals are then spun in a centrifuge to separate the sugar from the remaining liquid. The sugar crystals are removed, and the remaining dark liquid is what we call molasses. Types of molasses There are different types of molasses, and they vary based on the number of times the syrup has been boiled and sugar extracted. 1. First molasses or light molasses is from the first boiling of the cane juice. It is light in color and sweet in taste. 2. Second molasses or dark molasses is created from a second boiling and sugar extraction. It's darker, thicker, and less sweet than the first. 3. Blackstrap molasses is from the third boiling. It's the darkest, thickest, and least sweet of all types. It's also notably high in vitamins and minerals. And there we have it, the sweet and sticky journey of molasses. From sugarcane fields to the processing mills, and finally into your kitchen, molasses sure has quite a story to tell. So next time you drizzle it over your pancakes or stir it into your barbecue sauce, you'll know the journey it took to get there. We hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the food world.